So, just to kind of go over what goes at uh, what happens in our little slice of paradise in Indiana. This is evening milking time. So, I'm gonna be bringing my goat in in a minute. We got a uh, wipes, butter bomb, and aftercare. Uh, disinfectant for teats and uh, first things first you got to get some food in there so she gets a scoop of feed and some calf mana which is like extra vitamins and goodies that goes in her bucket and then in comes the goat first you get to watch her hind end and she's a good goat so first thing that we do is clean off the udder because she's been out in the field and it's raining so we got to make sure this is good and clean like there and this is to keep as much dirt as possible out of the milk. See, she's got a nice udder. She has, I think she's a very nice udder anyway. So that's a good girl. Uh, next, so we start milking. And this happens twice a day. I do this in the morning around 8 a.m. 7.38 a.m. and I do it at night about 7.38 p.m. and she gives about a gallon and um, generally she's a pretty good goat. Right now she's messing with her feed bucket. I need to get that tied down a bit tighter but oh well. But this is how it is on the homestead. And then out there in the yard, we got a couple of chickens, which I'm hoping the weather will make up its mind, and so that hen will start to go broody. Because I'd like her to hatch me a small flock so I can start collecting the eggs. In the meantime, I might just have to collect the eggs until we get a little bit of temperature. Good girl. And you want to milk it all the way out. There's usually a little extra on that side. I know, I know, we lost the rhythm. But got a little more on that side and really need to clean you out. You gotta milk them out all the way. So that way they keep producing milk. I'm gonna go for goat cam. Gonna hope she decide to to knock back too far because that'll be a disaster and that's mud on the door where they stepped on it for the that's not poo or anything there we go good girl That's how this goes then for the next 15 or so minutes. Meanwhile, 
I have to deal with slightly crazy goat who likes to pick up her bucket and toss it because she's naughty. I love her, but she's so naughty. Well, if you didn't dump your bucket out, this wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I know. Now I gotta finish milking, though. Silly. Easy. Almost done. There's only a couple more squeezes in there. That's a good baby. Good girl. Good girl. Alright. Then we do a, a quick after rinse. Easy. Make sure you're all clean. This is to help prevent mastitis. Make sure that side's completely stripped. No, it's not quite. It's pretty close though. And then we have a little bit of butter balm that goes on. Here, this feels good. Good baby, I know you like that just to keep everything moist and supple. It's like getting really bad chapped lips on your entire udder. You just go ahead and strip that last little bit out. I just let it go right on the floor. I'm gonna wash this all down later, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Good girl. very last thing that gets done, I'm going to probably should move the camera back because she kicks because this she does not like, is the uh, after spray. What this does is just goes up underneath the very tip of the teats. I know. Yep. It feels tickles. And that Make sure that no bacteria gets up in there, so there's no infections. Because we do not want infections. Those infections is bad because that could hurt the udder, and then she feels very bad. So you have to deal with a little bit of naughty goat and a little bit, a little bit of I don't like getting sprayed because it'd be better in the long run. You are a very naughty goat. Look at this naughty goat. Listen, it's a very naughty goat. She knocked her bucket over, so now she has to eat it off the floor. Oh, Allie. Here we have new kids drinking off of mommy. They're so beautiful. There's the new kids drinking off of Amber. I'm figuring this whole mess out. Amber's having dinner and so are the babies. Little Doe's gonna keep stealing her brother's teeth. Oh, they're good little twins.